the mission of the facility is to provide adequate resources for uh, education and training students, make sure they have the equipment for their research needs. Now we have three magnets. The 600 is mainly for bio users, and the 300 and 400 is mainly for educational and training purposes and for organic chemists. This is the only center I know of that sort of is in that the temperate intermediate zone. There's good facilities to do really high quality work, um, but we also are training students at the same time. The DEF program is so unique because of the access it provides to the equipment here, especially the NMR machines. And also it provides interpreting services on the spot. <laughs> Everything here, they just provide so much support. I can't imagine if it were gone. I mean, because it really keeps me motivated for my research. This center is unique in that it's free. You, uh, all the, the air, uh, area users can just you know, sign up and come here. So not only are they allowed to use the facilities for free, but they also get some other opinions outside of their relatively small group of faculty that they're working with. The uh, research that I do here at this facility not only benefits um, my and my students' research, but it also benefits my colleagues at Bridgewater's research as well. One of the nice things about my being able to have my students get checked out on these instruments and use them is that my research students are by and large going to graduate or professional schools. And um, while at Bridgewater they are able to run room temperature NMRs um, routinely, um, it is very nice for them to be able to come here and to be able to run an instrument that is very much like the instruments that they will run either in industry or in graduate school. The JMU program has been a great experience and I would love to recruit more deaf and hard of hearing students because often those students don't have the same opportunities to advance in science. I've been able to learn a variety of lab skills and use special equipment at JMU like the NMR. It's very rare for undergraduates to get hands-on experience with a lot of biophysical techniques. I specifically have been able to get really hands-on experience with 2D NMR on proteins. I've been able to travel to Argonne National Lab and use their advanced photon source to collect small angle X-ray scattering. And then also here at JMU, we have access to LCMS, UBVIS, CD, uh, and also ITC. Anyone who is on the fence about applying to an REU program, I would totally recommend just going for it. It's an insane opportunity, and I would recommend anyone to do that. It's pretty rare to see nationwide that the AMR facility will offer free access to all users. AMR is usually quite sophisticated and to manage a large number of outside users can be difficult. But for us, we welcome new users and that way we bring all the community users together and we together discuss about their research leads and what type of experiment they can do. And we also discuss about the parameter they use and post-post grant. It's a good way to bring the whole community together.